What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean Gill, CPA with Neutron Tax. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the three business lessons I learned last year in 2022 while scaling my service-based business. In this case, I have a CPA firm, which is a professional services business, but these lessons will apply to any service-based business and can help you make more money in 2023. But before we get into that, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you have any questions. It helps my engagement and helps the channel grow. So the first thing we need to talk about, the first of the three lessons, is creating useful systems. So systems are what scale and no large business operates at full capacity or full earning potential without them. So this was a big lesson that I learned last year. Um, systems are essentially repeatable processes and you need these processes for pretty much every aspect of your business. For a service-based business, that's onboarding clients, marketing, sales, service fulfillment, and even offboarding clients, and also billing. Systems take more work up front to build, so you really front load your work, but over the long term, they're very strong business assets and they pay dividends pretty much every day. So an example of a system is, and I'll use my firm as an example, is how I take on new clients. So with every single client, I have the exact same process. We have a strategy session phone call, then I create an account for them in my portal or my assistant does that. We send them an email with instructions, which just repeats everything I said in our strategy session call. And then from there, they get the contract, we take a deposit, and then we collect their documents. And I do this with every single person. And because we have systems, I could be walking down the street and meet a potential client and have them onboarded from my phone in about five minutes or less. This helps me take on multiple customers in a day. So I could have five people come in through the door and between me and my assistant, we can have them all onboarded in like less than 30 minutes and start actually working with them and making money. And we have the same thing for how we build them, how we market and do sales. I have systems for how we make these videos. So at the same time every week, I sit down with Sav, who's behind the camera to record these videos. I write scripts the same time every week. Um, we have ways that we keep track of our files, our thumbnails, how I review the scripts, how I review timestamps, everything. Everything is systemized, and because of that, I can do it at scale and take on more work and more activities to make money. Systems are very key to your business, and if you're doing things just off the cuff, different every single time you do it, you are being inefficient, and you're halting your business from growing. So definitely start implementing useful systems. Hey, if you need a second opinion on your business systems and business processes, you can book a free consultation with me at the link in the description below. We'll talk about how you currently do things and little tweaks I would make in your business to help you optimize for scaling and so you can make more money. So again, that link is in the description below and I will talk to you soon. Now let's get back to the video. The next lesson is focusing on profit first actions. So this is essentially just identifying all the tasks in your business that actually move the needle forward. So the way you can do this is you work backwards from your goal, which in 99% of businesses is to have lots of profit, work backwards and reverse engineer what exactly you need to do every day to make money. And then don't focus on things that don't make you money. So that's kind of the, the Pareto principle, also known as the 80-20 rule. An example of this is in my business, there's three core items, and these same three core items apply to pretty much every service-based business. Step one is prospecting slash generating traffic. Step two is the initial call and consultation and onboarding. And step three is actual service fulfillment. So for me, what that looks like, prospecting and generating traffic, that's making content like this to generate leads. It's going to networking events. It's meeting new people and letting them know that I'm a CPA and what I do. The second thing is calls. This is where we actually convert those prospects into appointments, get to know what they do, how they need, uh, or what services they need actually, and quote them. And then from there, we onboard them. So that's where we convert in the sales. And then the last step is the service fulfillment. This is where I actually do accounting and tax work and give the client what they're paying me to give them. That's how we make money. So those three 
core items are the 80% in the 80-20 rule that actually move the needle forward for my business. If I'm doing those three things, we're making money. I'm meeting new people, I'm converting them to clients, and then I'm doing the work that gets me paid. Now, the opposite of that would be 20% would be, say, admin work, like if I wanted to make a list of my clients' birthdays so I could send them an email on their birthday. That's very nice, right? It's great for customer service, all those things. But if I'm trying to scale my business, that's not going to make me much more money. It may you know, make a client come back and things like that. But if it comes down to that or making a YouTube video or going to a networking event, I should spend my precious time going to the networking event or doing the YouTube video because that then leads to calls, which leads to converted customers and fulfilling a service. The birthday reminder email, very, very low chance that it'll lead to any of those things. So if I have to decide what to do with the one hour of time, I need to go with the other options. So you want to make sure you're optimizing your time and only doing those 80% of activities that, or I think I actually said that opposite, those 20% of activities that give you 80% of your results instead of spending your time doing 80% of activities that only give you 20% of your results. So I think I flipped the Pareto principle there in my explanation, but you guys know what I'm saying. 20% of your actions derive 80% of your results and 80% of your actions derive 20% of your results. Stay away from that. Make sure you're doing the most high leverage tasks for your business because that is where you make money and business is all about leverage of your time, your skills, and your resources. Now, the final lesson that I learned last year that helped me scale my business and can help you scale yours is to make sure I have a concise, productized service offering. So in a service-based business, obviously our product is our service but we don't wanna have our service be custom and different for every single person. Unless we're working in some very high-end, boutique, you know, custom-only kind of industry, um, which I would encourage you to stay away from unless you're the top, top, you know, 0.1% of 1% in your craft. For most of us, we're not those people and we have a generalized service business, so we want to productize that service, which means we want to offer the same services to all of our clients at standardized prices and timelines as often as possible and stay away from custom work because it's less repeatable, right? Custom work, um, it creates more confusion, more wasted time, and more operational drag, meaning it just takes you more time to get everything done and you do less jobs. So you may make more per job or per client up front, but over the long term, you have less capacity, so you're actually making less money in the long term. You'll make more money doing the same jobs at the same prices for the same type of clients over and over again. I know that sounds more boring, but business isn't about having fun, right? We wanna generate profit, so you do the boring craft over and over again, and it's very profitable, right? So a key to this is just making sure you don't offer too many services and that you handle the process for every customer the exact same way. And you wanna have a price schedule. So an example of what this looks like in my business is how we handle client documents and processes when it comes to onboarding, like I mentioned earlier. So almost all of our clients, I would say like 97%, use our online portal to sign contracts, give us documents and do billing. They all go through that process that I described earlier of our strategy session call and then onboarding. Because of this, we don't have confusion of, um, you know, okay, with this client, I'm going to go to his house and pick up his documents. With this client, they're coming in person. With this person, we're doing a Zoom call. With this person, it's a phone call. Um, this guy's going to mail me his documents. This person's going to come and drop it off. 97% of the time, everybody does, does it the same way online. We do offer in person, right, for certain clients who are older, they're not as tech savvy. But even for them, the, product, the service or the uh, process is the exact same. So there's only two versions of our process. 97% use the online version and 3% use the in-person. But even for the people that come in-person, everything is done the exact same way. There's not a lot of options and people don't mind at all. But because of that, we can do things at scale. So I can, with a one-person team or a one-person team with a part-time person can service hundreds and hundreds of customers versus maybe 50 customers if we did everything custom. And this, again, lets us scale 
and make more money and grow our business, which is the end goal. So those were the three main lessons I learned last year trying to scale my service-based business. I hope you learned something from that. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment in the comment box below and we'll get back to you. If you need help consulting on your business and talking to someone who can help you learn what you need to change in your business to maybe make those small tweaks that will let you scale or build systems that will let you scale, you can schedule a strategy session with me at the link in the description below. I'll go over everything wrong with your processes or improvements that I see once we talk about what you have going on in your business and help you make more money. So this was everything for this video. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So that was the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment. It helps me grow the channel. If you need help with your taxes, you can book a call with me directly at the link below in the description. And you can also sign up for our email list. We only send out an email about once a month and that's everything I need to tell you. So I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace. Have a good day. Appreciate the views.